So let's see if you have enough math knowledge and skills to figure this problem out. This is not that difficult, and if you can't solve this problem right now, no worries, in a couple minutes you'll be an expert. But uh, here is the question. We want to find the angles of this triangle. Okay, so this angle in the triangle is x degrees. This angle right here is 2x degrees, and this angle right here is 3x degrees. What are the actual angles? Okay, so let's go ahead and get into the solution here. And if you didn't figure this out, this is quite easy. But we need to know something about triangles. We need to know something about the angles in any triangle. And here, we have no information other than this is a triangle. And, uh, of course, these degrees have these relationships. So this one here is the smallest angle, right? It's x degrees. This one is twice the um, the smallest, so this is 2x degrees, and then this is uh, this angle here is 3 times the smallest, or 3x degrees. So how can we approach the solution to um, this problem? Well, the only way we can solve this problem is we need to know about angles in a triangle, and this is what we need to know. And uh, this is one of the kind of uh, number one things that if you're studying uh, geometry or if you want to know if you want to know one thing about a triangle, this is the one thing that you want to know. There's a lot of properties about triangles, but everybody should know this uh, property, and that is the sum of the uh, sum of the angles in a triangle always equal 180 degrees. So what does that mean? Well, if I take this angle, and it doesn't make a difference uh, what triangle we're talking about. You take this angle plus this angle, plus this angle, you'll always get 180 degrees. So the sum of the angles in a triangle equal 180 degrees. Now, if you're saying to yourself, oh, okay, that's a nice hint, Mr. YouTube Math Man. I can figure this thing out. And you're like, well, we'll put that knowledge to work if you forgot that the sum of the angles uh, of a triangle equal 180 degrees. Because all we could do here, or all we have to do, is take this angle plus this angle plus this angle and have that equal to 180 degrees and that's going to look like an algebra equation so indeed we have to use our friend algebra to solve this equation all right so this is what we have here we have this angle x plus this angle 2x plus this angle 3x is equal to 180 degrees we don't need to write that uh, degree symbol in here because it's just assumed that uh, we are dealing with degrees all right, so at this point, what we have to do now is solve this equation. So indeed, you have to have some basic algebra skills. So let's go ahead and see if you can solve this basic equation. Are you struggling in math because of confusing lessons? Maybe the teacher's not showing you all the steps you need or things are happening too fast. Well, there is a better way. So come on over to my math help program at tcmathacademy.com. There you'll find clear step-by-step -step instruction by me that will definitely make a huge difference in your math success. So make sure to check out all my courses by following the links in the description. All right, so let's get back to this problem. And this is going to be quite easy because I know you are an expert in algebra. Okay, now if you are taking some sort of geometry course, typically you'll take uh, a, a full geometry course after at least one year of algebra. You have to have some basic algebra skills uh, to solve most geometry problems. Okay, so what are we going to do here? Well, we have 1x, uh, two, this is 1x, right, Pl uh, plus 2x, plus 3x. So all of these are like terms. So this is going to be 1 plus 2 plus 3. And the last, last time I checked, that is 6. So that's going to be 6x is equal to 180. So to solve for x, all we have to do is divide both sides of the equation by 6. So x is equal to 30. Now, a lot of students, they'll get so excited. They'll be like, look at me. I am so wonderful in math. I'm going to get an A+. Plus. And uh, this has happened many, many times throughout uh or many, many uh, times throughout many, many years of teaching, that students will have done everything perfectly, and they'll be like, I'm done, here's my answer, x is 30, because they're focused on solving the equation, but you forgot to answer the question, okay? So what does this mean? Well, we have x is equal to 30, but we have to go back to our diagram here. So x is equal to 30, and that basically means that this angle here is 30 degrees, but we need the other angles. So we're gonna have to go back and now that we know that x is equal to 30 degrees, we can simply plug this in right here. So this would be 2x 
or two times 30, which of course is 60 or 60 degrees. And over here we have to go three times 30, of course X is 30, and that is 90 degrees. So, you know, a lot of uh, students, it's, you know, and I made these mistakes as well. Everybody makes mistakes when you're learning, but it, you know, to be successful in math, you have to stay focused, all right? Even though you're so enthusiastic about learning and doing well, you know, if you don't concentrate, all right, uh, you, all that hard work will go to waste because I want you to get full credit. I want you to ace your math courses so you can look like this person every single time. Okay, now if you need more help in geometry uh, or in mathematics, algebra, whatever the case is, check out my uh, uh, different math courses. I'm going to leave links to my primary math courses uh, in the description of this video. But if you just want to check out other videos, again, I have a ton of videos. As a matter of fact, right now I have over 2,000 plus uh, videos on my YouTube channel from basic math to advanced math like calculus and everything in between. Okay, so with all that being said, I definitely wish you all the best in your mathematics adventures. Thank you for your time and have a great day.